Hello everyone, welcome to 30 minutes learning. Today we are going to discuss about how to use Moments Library in SAP UFA application. So this moment is famous library in JavaScript. So this moment library we are going to use for date formation and uh, date based functionalities. We can add or subtract days, month and we can calculate in between years, date and time, like all date based functionality, we can utilize this moment JS. And they given proper documentation for all functionalities. Okay, let's go to the site momentjs.com. Here you can see they given moment JS library. We can use this library in our SAP UF application for further uh, functionalities. I will explain how to um, download and how to upload in SAP FWBD. And uh, now we just look at the documentation, how they given how to use this uh, woman library. Let's uh, click that docs. Here, uh, if you see, they given a lot of proper documentations, like how to use and what are the options they given okay so we can format like if you need to uh, format something like um, date and uh, time with uh, am or pm we can use this dd and ha this format we need to use okay like this uh, they given some difference um between days one day to uh from date to two date and how many days in between these two days uh like we have a lot of options here you just look at the documentation then you can understand what are the functionality we can implement as per your requirement okay okay let's uh go to download the file um So we need this um, woman in JS file. So just click and uh, save. So it automatically download woman men men dot JS. Okay. Now we'll go to our SAP web ID and um, create a new project. So click new and uh, project from template and select uh, SAP UFA application click next and give your project name like whatever you want I'm going to give moment so namespace dev and click next and finish it will take some couple of seconds to complete after that, we need to upload our file. We download our moment JS file, right? So that file we need to upload here. Okay, our project created created. So just expand that web app folder. Instead, you're going to create a new folder called um, library or uh, something external lib external libs okay click ok then select that folder and uh, click import file or project then select the file momentmen.js file and open click ok then it will start import once it's completed then we can use that file ok that file import successfully so next how to integrate this moment.js how to use this file 
so lot of people directly using index.html like um, normal HTML uh, program we using some J JS file using a script library right so not like we're going to integrate so how we going to integrate proper way to our SAP UFA application let's go to controller so if you see the controller here in the top we need to define our uploaded file so first we need to give our namespace so our program namespace now it's a dev moment so give dev moment and slash and uh, give you a um, folder ext or external lights and um, give you a file name moment dot min we don't want to give js it's always um, con considered as a js file then we need to assign this library name we can give moment js so you don't need to give a moment because we going to use moment as a function so you don't uh, give a name as a moment what a, what function you're going to implement inside the script file so that name it will conflict so give some different name okay so our integration is completed we're going to test our application for that purpose i'm going to create a um, one input and uh, one button if i if the button click then it will fetch uh, information uh, date information and uh, display in the input field okay go to view click here and um, create a new input Sorry, actually, it's a um, right mismatching input, and uh, we're going to give you um, ID for this input. So, ID called ID INP. This is the ID for the input field, and uh, we're going to create a button. So button text so we can give press and uh, we're going to give you some action so I'm going to add a press event so this event on press we're going to create a new function inside the controller file so here create a new function called on press and here we need to read our input field so I'm going to assign a one variable called O 
int on this dot get view dot by id and we need to give a id for this input so id int and um, we are going to set some values so INP dot set value here we can give anything we can display some date okay let's test our application now we just uh, checking this function is trigger and uh, this value it will append in the input field okay click that uh, moment like project and click that run button and select that index.html and click ok Okay, something error. Okay, this this is um, not updated properly button. Um, say, I think some catch issue. Just add button and refresh. Um, again also we get the same issue just refresh again then we get the result so actually this is a um, just a catch issue now just click the press event its date is this value is it here so it's working so now we can give our moment date so we're going to assign variable and now and date and this date we're going to pause to moment so moment and now then format and test that formation Go to documentation, check how we're going to display. Um, we can use this formation, it's giving a um, day and month and date and year, and hours and minutes and seconds. And the uh, a means it's am or pm, it's a small so everything it will uh, expand here. So if you want to use some particular formation, you can use this value uh, as a separated uh, comma, comma value here. So I'm just uh, going to take this value and uh, put it in the formation. Okay. Now, this moment. I'm going to assign new value called uh, date format 
so this date format we are going to assign this input now we properly if we integrate our library we get some error moment is not defined but don't worry it will work just save and uh, just refresh our application this time if we press it's giving a result it's a Tuesday 26 and um, 2020 and current time everything it will give uh, perfectly so how to uh, write this error it's very simple you just adding a some comments in the top backslash asterisk and asterisk and backslash and uh, give a command global and give a function name woman and semicolon and true after you given this value this write automatically go so this error uh, not uh, populate again another one important things don't give your name as a moment for this one library because here it's a moment is a function so if you assign a moment here then this value it mismatch that's why you don't never give a um, value for moment in the function assign area okay okay so um, we completed that's all guys today and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and make sure to click a uh, bell icon and turn on the notification for my future videos thank you bye